Okay, welcome to news update with Ego Brown. UK pushes crypto efforts forward through financial services reforms. Amber Group ditches expansion plans after denying insolvency, report. Bitcoin mining project in Kenya helps power rural community. Sam Bankman Fried agrees to testify in front of U.S. House Financial Committee. And Crypto.com releases proof of reserves data showing client assets are fully backed. UK pushes crypto efforts forward through financial services reforms. The United Kingdom's Chancellor of the Exchequer Jeremy Hunt laid out a number of reforms aiming to drag growth and competitiveness to the country's financial services sector, including efforts that support the crypto space. In an announcement, the UK government highlighted that it will create a smarter regulatory framework for the country that it describes as agile, less costly, and more responsive to emerging trends. Topics mentioned in the announcement include consulting on proposals for the establishment of a central bank digital currency, CBDC, extending a crypto tax break for investment managers, bringing stable coins into the regulatory perimeter and creating a sandbox that lets firms and regulators test new technologies that have the potential to transform financial markets. Amber Group ditches expansion plans after denying insolvency, report. Cryptocurrency trading firm Amber Group is putting its expansion plans on hold despite the FTX contagion having no disruption to its daily operations, according to a senior executive. Amber has scrapped plans to expand in Europe and the United States as a consequence of exposure to the now-defunct exchange FTX and will focus on institutional clients in Asia, according to managing partner Annabelle Huang. Huang also said that Amber has been forced to deprioritize its new metaverse project due to the FTX contagion, the Financial Times reported on December 9th. Apart from ditching its expansion plans, the firm has reportedly been cutting its headcount recently. After reportedly laying off up to 40% of staff in September, the firm continued to lay off employees again in December. According to Huang, Amber had roughly 10% of its trading capital stuck on FTX, which is not an issue for the company's daily operations. In line with its plans to continue servicing customers in Asia, Amber has continued working to raise new funding and make new acquisitions. Bitcoin mining project in Kenya helps power rural community. Gridless Compute, a hydro-powered Bitcoin mining initiative, tweeted that the project has successfully powered a rural community and lowered its existing energy rates. A hydropowered crypto mining project based in Africa released an update on its efforts to bring energy developments to rural communities via Bitcoin $17,172. On December 9th, Gridless Compute tweeted photos and commentary on how their hydropower BTC mining rigs are powering an entire rural settlement while also lowering energy rates for 2,000 people the equivalent to 500 families. According to the tweet, costs decrease from $10 per month to $4. All of this while securing BTC's underlying blockchain network. Earlier this week, the project also shared results of a successful $2 million funding round led by VC Stillmark and Blocks, the parent company of Cash App and Square. According to Gridless, the funds from this round will be used to further the expansion of BTC mines across African markets while targeting rural communities for accessible energy. Eric Herzman, the CEO of Gridless, said that while BTC mining has been widespread throughout North America, Europe and Asia, Africa has great opportunities to diversify mining. 
He highlighted that renewable energy is abundant on the continent. Sam Bankman Fried agrees to testify in front of U.S. House Financial Committee. Sam Bankman Fried, the former chief executive of bankrupt crypto exchange FTX, has said he'll testify at a December 13th meeting of the House Financial Services Committee. Bankman Fried Friday tweeted he was willing to testify in response to requests from committee chair Maxine Waters, Democrat California, who had said his attendance was imperative. Bankman Fried said his contribution would be limited, as he says he still does not have access to the personal and professional data that could underpin testimony. Waters tweeted on Wednesday night that a subpoena was definitely on the table should Bankman Fried decline to attend. Since resigning, allegations have emerged of poor governance, inadequate risk management and inappropriate use of customer funds under Bankman Fried's leadership. Prior to his resignation, he was a major political donor and influential figure in Washington, backing a bill to regulate digital commodities. Crypto.com releases proof-of-reserves data showing client assets are fully backed report. Crypto.com released proof-of-reserves data from auditing firm Mazars Group that showed its clients' assets are fully backed one-to-one, -one, according to a statement Friday. This comes after rival exchange Binance released a similar report from the same auditor seemingly proving its reserves on Wednesday. Similar to Binance, Mazars compared assets held in on-chain addresses on Crypto.com with customer balances on December 7. However, the report is not an official audit, but rather a matching exercise based on information provided by the client about on-chain addresses of assets and a client database of customer balances, according to Francine McKenna lecturer in financial accounting at the Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania. Providing audited proof of reserves is an important step for the entire industry to increase transparency and begin the process of restoring trust, said Chris Marsalek, CEO of Crypto.com. Centralized crypto exchanges have been under pressure to provide more transparency in the wake of the collapse of FTX a once-trusted crypto exchange now under investigation for fraud. Please support us by clicking on like. Subscribe and share with your friends to stay updated. Leave your comment on topic you want us to talk about. Thanks and see you again in our next news update.